Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe this is going to be edge-of-the-seat stuff from Liga Unu. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Now can they make something happen? Fruitful looking attack. Just couldn't capitalise there. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's a player full of confidence at the moment. What a hat-trick it was in the last match. Every oh, time... they could finish here, Stuart. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And teammates to play it to. Dangerous looking attack. And using his body to good effect. Tanase. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Can he play it in? It's a neat move. This could square the game. Great work defensively, but still the chance. Clean challenge. Dayak. That's a well-struck pass. Decent position. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have had it, They've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. A chance to whip it in. And space for him to cut in. Can they convert? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Tanase. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Using his strength to shield the ball. A very good tackle. Really getting stuck in defensively. Sigurjonsson 
Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. And space to attack. Fine cross into the middle. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Delivering it, foiling them effectively. Oh, moving it nicely. Now, disappointing end to the move. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? An alert piece of defending. This might be ideal for the counter. On and on he goes. Pulls it back. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. Well, a second goal for them here. And into the last 30 minutes now. I must say, this looks promising. The cross is on. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. So making the substitution now. Christian Mania. Giving the ball away. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Breaking at pace. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Well, he likes to run at them. Could reduce the deficit. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. 
Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball. And they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Well, being pressed here. Has the strength to hang on to it. Options in the centre. Possession one. Could pull one back here, which he does! And maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equaliser. It would be quite the frenetic turnaround. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Andrei Burka. Alexandru Kipchiu. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. He got in the way of that cross. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.